Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you probably one of the best news ever in Monster Legends. There is a 24-hour crazy breeding event. Why is it crazy? Why is it insane? Well, we're gonna get to that today in this video. This has been a... This is my return video, if you will, to Monster Legends. And I gotta say, this is the best time to get into the game again. Especially if you're a long-term player that, you know, is like, oh, I hate all these forsaken monsters or all these, like, you know, things that don't aren't any better than, you know, the old things. Well, hey, guess what? An old thing just came out. And it's amazing because hey look at this. Do you guys see all these nitro blasters in my hatchery? Well guess what? Nitro blaster has something to do with this current event that's only up for 24 hours, so get to it today. Uh so what's the breeding combination here? We're gonna pull it up here. Uh it is a Mercurius uh and Tryon the what both of these monsters have been uh, you know obtainable in the past through via the you know, races, mazes, all that jazz. Uh, these are all basically things you could have gotten in the past for free, and you have them in your inventory right. And, if you don't have them in your inventory right now, hey, guess what? You can actually get these monsters in the shop right now. Mercurius de Flambe is a little bit expensive, but it's really, 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 really worth the price, comparing to the fact that you, A, well, it's it's a good monster on its own, and B, if you get Tryon, who is only 230, it means the che it's the cheaper monster, you know. Uh, you can breed it for Nitro Blast, which is guaranteed to be bred. Nitro Blast is a top tier, very, very high quality damage dealer in Monster Legends that has Artifact. It's not a, actually a middle monster too, and it's weak to water type attacks, which isn't too big of a concern in this game because water damage isn't actually the main kind of damage in this game, so it's pretty good. Like, water damage is usually just, you know, water control, you know, elements kind of just control stuff, so it doesn't have, I'd say it has one of the better weaknesses in the game. You don't really take much heavy damage from water skills because not many water damage dealers exist in the game. And I'm not saying there aren't any. I'm just saying this is a good weakness to have. And it's already on a monster that has cool things about it. What does it have? What does it have, Dib? What, why is this monster so good? You gotta tell me, Dib. You gotta explain it. You know, I have the car dealership. You gotta say, hey, Dib, why should I get this car? You gotta present to me why. Well, here I'll give you a few reasons why. A. Artifact. You're immune to everything. Uh, this means all good stuff and bad stuff, which is a great thing. <laughs> like, you know, you don't really care about anything. It's amazing. It's like it's like cheating. It's like the ultimate math test, and you cheat. You're not affected by curse. You're not affected by double DOTs. You're not affected by, you know, blind control. Whatever have you, you're just immune to everything. While you can't get any good stuff on your grades, uh, like uh, regen, like uh, double damage, uh, he actually, again, he actually cheats. He can actually turn this off whenever he wants, so. <laughs> so it's really good, it's really good. He already has a skill uh, later on that shuts his artifact off and he gets goodies like Pierce. And on top of that, at rank 1, he gets water protection, so you're immune to all water damage, so you have no weakness. This is a monster with no weaknesses. It is an ultimate attacker that doesn't give a crap about anything as long as it's straight up. And... Uh, at rank 3, it gets area damage increase for everyone. I don't know if he himself is affected by this. Uh, it could be, it's kind of like a time year on deal, maybe. But, uh, he still increases everyone's damage. I do believe it's a 50% damage increase, which is nice. So what are the skills? What are, what are, what is good? What is really, really nice? Well, for the base skill, I have Core Exposure, Beam Inferno, Burning Beam, and Dehydrate because it's not a ranked up one. Let's see what it has for ranked up skills, shall we? We can pull up the ranked skills here. At rank 1, you get Support the Organics. It applies double damage to all allies. Gives an extra turn, so he has an extra turn double damage booster. I don't think he himself is affected, but, you know, because, again, he's Artifact, he doesn't get goodies. But then again, then again, it could be a time mirror thing too. He could, he himself could also be uh, entitled to get it, even though he has artifact because time mirror can get like his buffs from his own skills, like t you know, space time or all that good stuff. Uh, Star Core deals heavy fire damage, applies burn and ignition, and gives it one extra turn. That's really nice. DOT, double DOT, burning and ignition is amazing on this thing. Uh, evaporation, heavy fire damage to everyone, fire weakness to everyone at rank 3, and at rank 4. This is the real reason what you kind of want to do. And I, I have to say this is the uh, the extent of how much you need it ranked up. Like This is as high as you need it to be. So you need at least rank 4. 
And this is the post-human. Disables trait of itself, so this is his turn-off ability. But in response to that, in response to that, he gets uh, applies pierce and positive effect protections to itself. This means you could give this thing like control immunity and uh, DOT immunity, and he essentially just becomes a better unit because now he may have buffs, and you're not really affected by anything else because now you've given him control immunity and torture immunity. Which is fantastic, and you don't you don't really need to worry about it too much unless they have like a a wormland or a Rasiyuko, which I think this thing even fries to begin with. So that's pretty good. The only problem with this skill really is it's not an extra turn itself, and I think that's fine. Like I I think it even gets away with it because a lot of monsters like the bank on extra turns. We even got a nature monster that banks on extra turns. So, I guess, in the same token, it's not really that bad it's not an extra turn. Uh, as long as you do get uh, another turn with Nitro Blast. Even if, like, let's say they have a, you know, Ragnarok, right? If you use this skill and then you go for, you know, an extra turn skill. Even if he goes for Area Cleanse, uh, Ragnarok can do nothing about a Nitro Blast if he has not cleansed the, the Nitro Blast. Like, if Nitro Blast gets that turn in, he will fry anything he wants. Because Pierce is a powerful effect, because what Pierce does, it bypasses all defensive measures. So even if, let's say, your enemy stacked on shields, well, dipped, the shield will protect him. Nope, Pierce bypasses all defensive stuff in the game. So you can easily cheese anything you want, and the DOTs bypass the shield. That's how Pierce works. If you have Pierce, you bypass things, everything. Even anything you do, like your attacks, will bypass, and their status effects will bypass. That's why Rasi Yuko is, still, is good right now. Because a lot of people didn't think the DOTs bypass the shields. They do, and that's a big deal. Very, very huge. That means if you stack a whole bunch of DOTs on the enemy with Rossi, you go, you insta win. It's beautiful. It's lovely. But it's hard to really land them because they're all 50% chance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is kind of why you want to get them ranked up the, all the way to 4. This is actually the best time to get them ranked up for. I would say this is a steal. If you are debating whether or not to do this, you should 100% do this. I'm saying this is such a good opportunity to rank up Nitro Blast. Now, would I say rank up any other monster right now? No, not really. I think this is the best thing to do. Uh... But no, this is this is the best unit. So just follow the. Trust me on this. Just do this particular combination. Don't do any of the other ones. I really, really think you should take the opportunity to rank up Nitro Blaster. It is such a big monster in this game. Everyone's gonna run around with 120 Nitro Blaster for sure, knowing this that this is guaranteed. So take advantage of this event. Get yourself a Mercurius and Tryon and stop breeding those all star Nitro Blasters today. I'm Diddly Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this breeding video. It's good to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this opportunity to get Nitro Blaster. Again, this event's only 24 hours. So do this event now. You get it. You get gems. You do it now. And you have yourself a good time. You get this monster. You get them done. It's amazing. Trust me. It is really, really good. I'm Diddly Awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.